let's take a look at something entirely different again. I've done a video for a while, I've been so busy. But um, this is a very familiar sight to some. This is the inside of a Tysco organ with its nice little card cage and my probe laying here. I want to show you something very interesting here. The waveforms in this thing uh, it creates a stair stepped waveform. I'll put it on one of the uh, dividers here. And we get this sort of waveform. Now, look at the waveform on the lower one. The square wave. It should be a stair step. Here's the one next to it. Crap. And, uh, short here. The card's zoinging against something. I hope it didn't change anything. <laughs> okay. Here's the one next to it. Uh, sparks. That's the low. Whoops. Low one. Ah, hold it on there. It's a bad connection. There we go. Okay, as you can see, it's a bit slower there. Low divider. Okay. Anyway. Alrighty. Let's get the probe out of there. Now, let's listen to those bass notes that are using those. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can hear the square wave, but it's being filtered so it's not as bell tone as it would be if it were just raw. Anyway, these things, all the capacitors failed. I put 0.27s and hung a 0.1 under to make a 0 0.4, 0 0.37, close enough. Gives you a nice vibrato. Again, the vibrato didn't work and a lot of dirty switches and uh, the caps all are holding their ESR value well enough I didn't see a single bad electrolytic in this did I just those three there and so who knows these might be bad too these um, are tone caps 0.5 I should check their values because that type of cap seems to be the one failing in these and uh, but right now it sounds pretty typical of the Tysco uh, C organ, I made a few notes on here. The C organ has some uh, different stuff. So here's a surprise because this is not a Tysco C. This is a honeybee or something. What is it? It's um, a <laughs> stinger. A stinger organ. So let me get this card in there so we can close it. I don't know if I should mess with that or not. <laughs> it's so close almost um, like I doubt anybody will ever notice. I really do. I, I had somebody in here listening and they're like, I can't tell a difference that her ears aren't as good as mine. <laughs> I can tell. And so this one has wood, trombone, flute, string, trumpet, clarinet, sax, and a little B on it. And vibrato speed, and this is the bass for uh, medium, low, and full throttle here. <laughs> I think it, uh, let's see, that's the full, what does it say, loud, loud, huh, FT, what does that mean, I, I don't know, oh, it does work there, okay, it wasn't working before, oh, good, I thought, it's more and off, so I can't even tell what that says, probably is the lowest, but, I thought that said low, <laughs> I don't know, anyway, but it does, change the tone a little bit and uh, so yeah it's got um, just uh, one by one through the things real quick here very mellow 16 wood it's got a little noise when I have it I got everything closed up and seated there and or it may have that trombone may actually have a Something loose in the filtering circuit. That one a little bit too. The string's pretty loud. Trumpet. Clarinet. Saxophone. Anyway, that's the stringer and you can combine things. Full band. Oh, and also it has the high forte so you can get a little bit of a brightness variation there. Quite a bit, actually. 
and then the full band, <laughs> in which case nothing makes any difference. All the presets are defeated when you're on the full band. That's its own combination preset, I guess. And you've got full and medium vibrate. Oops. Something. Yeah, a couple dirty switches still. Almost got her here. And uh, what does it say? It says, have you seen this icon GMC? <laughs> Is that a G? I don't know. Somebody mentioned a name. Paul thought it. Oh, Paul, Paul Haugen found this, of course. This is one of his uh, searchings, and um, I spent a bunch of time fixing it. So, hopefully, we're about there. But, um, yeah, this is a unique one I had never seen before, and another one for the archives. It's got a pedal and um, uses the weird little cord there. Had to carve one out to fit, and uh, oh, it's got a case with the legs in it. And this is the top for the. Oh, it's got a pedal too, and a bag for the cord that didn't come with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, all there. Pretty good find. Anyway, yeah, that's a new one.